Hello and welcome to Clash of the Dice, I'm James and this is a series of videos in which I look at an Age of Sigmar model kit in the context of the game Warcry. So by that I mean I'm going to look at which books you'll need in order to use that kit in a game of Warcry, what you actually get in the box and what fighters you can build from the contents, and then a judgement as to whether or not I think it's good value for money for Warcry. In this episode we're looking at the Star Collecting set for the Corn Bloodbound. Being one of the Chaos factions, the rules for all of the models in this box set can be found in the Agents of Chaos book. Now, bearing in mind that at time of recording, Games Workshop have recently announced the new version of Warcry set in Gur, and there's changes to the core rules, so I imagine it won't be long before we do get a new uh, faction book for all of the major factions. You will of course need access to a copy of the core rules and the Tome of Champions updated a lot of the points costs across all factions but you can go on to the list building tools on the Warhammer community website and use the Warcry Varen Scribe page which has got all of the updated and current points costs for every single unit that is usable in Warcry. So on to what do you get in the box? Well this is basically the Age of Sigmar 1st edition starter box sprues for the Blades of Corn, except with fewer Blood Reavers. So it's still the only place where you can get some of the models in this box. There's the Mighty Lord of Corn or Korgos Cool, you can use the model as either. There's the Bloodsecrator, the Bloodstoker and the Korgorath. This is still the only place where you can get those particular models, they're not available in any of the kits. You also get 10 Blood Reavers. In the first edition Age of Sigmar box you used to get 20, so you just get one sprue of them and in the first edition Age of Sigmar box you got two of the same sprues. You can use one of the Blood Reavers as a chieftain, you can make one of them a standard bearer and another one a musician, but the standard bearer musician, they, they've got no special rules in Warcry, so you may as well just make them as standard Blood Reavers. You get five Blood Warriors, one of which is a Chaos Champion, and with both the Blood Reavers and the Blood Warriors, you pretty much get no weapon choices. Blood Reavers, the only option available to them is they get Reaver Blades. The Blood Warriors, the only options available to them is the Gore Axe and the Gore Fist. You don't get any of the wep weapon options. So a total of 19 models from which you can make 5 different leaders and 3 fighters. The leaders being the Mighty Lord of Corn, the Blood Secretor, the Blood Stoker, the Blood Reaver Chieftain, and the Chaos Champion, the three fighters being the Korgorath, the Blood Reavers, and the Blood Warriors. And using the Tome of Champions 2021 points values, that's a total of 2,205 points. So is this good value for money? Yeah, I think so. It's certainly good if you want to get into Corn Bloodbound. So the downside is the Reavers and the Blood Warriors, they are limited to a single loadout option. So if you want to have more variety for your basic fighters, you're better off going with the separate kits because the separate Blood Reaver kits give you more weapon options and likewise the separate Blood Warrior kits give you more weapon options, they're not monopose. However, like I said, it is still the only way to get certain key models for Corn Bloodbound. So if you really want to get into Corn Bloodbound, this is the best place to start because you get five good leader options unless you go on eBay obviously. Please let me know in the comments if there's any kits that you'd like me to do a review of. Are you excited for the new version of Warcry coming out? I am. I was a little bit apprehensive at first but now I've looked into what's actually coming. I like it. I like the reactions and various other details that Games Workshop have put out on the Warhammer community website. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. But yeah, looking forward to it. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, God bless.